it's a homeowner's nightmare. Bad guys breaking into your house. These days, high-tech security cameras can alert you immediately with those crystal clear images and help put the intruders behind bars. But how foolproof are some of those cameras? I actually found a way you can remotely turn the camera off or disable it. Security expert Jason Doyle said he found a flaw in a popular surveillance camera, the Nest Cam, which is owned by Google. Well, a burglar could be you know, outside your front door, disable the camera, and then head on in. For obvious reasons, we won't reveal how it's done, but a tech-savvy crook can turn the camera off from a remote location. So at this point, the camera has been disabled and it's no longer recording. In this demonstration, the Nest cameras work perfectly. The burglar enters. Immediately, the homeowner is alerted. He can see the crook scoping out the scene, stealing a piece of artwork and a laptop, and off he goes, in and out, in less than a minute. But the camera records it all. But watch what happens when Jason disables the camera using an app that he helped develop to expose the security flaw. Everything on screen freezes. The camera stops recording. It will stay like that for 60 seconds. 60 seconds is quite critical for downtime on a surveillance camera. I mean, so many things can happen within 60 seconds. You'd never know you've been burglarized until the camera turns back on again. Artwork, laptop, poof, gone. So the camera comes back online, uh, the artwork's gone, MacBook's gone, and I have no notification that anything bad happened. This family was shocked by what yeah. could happen. The fact that they could be disabled or compromised is really unsettling. Doyle said he notified Nest of the flaw, but that was back in October, and he's gone public now to make people aware of the problem. I would hope that the companies who put out products like this will update the devices so that these things don't happen. And in fact, Nest tells us they have now developed a fix for the problem, and as of today, the software in all their cameras has been automatically updated to resolve the flaw. They also said that no customers were affected.